very physical game. Uh, like Allison just said, I mean, just the ability to get to the line and fight through stuff. I mean, I could see you, I mean, you were visibly frustrated with just the amount of contact you were going through. Can you just talk me through kind of what the atmosphere was like out there just playing in that type of environment? Um, yeah, very competitive, very, very competitive team. Um, we knew coming into this game, it was very, it was going to be a very physical game. Um, but I'm glad that we didn't let the bumps get to us and we just kept playing. Um, a lot of times we could have just gave up and um, just let the refs call get to us, but we didn't. We just kept playing. Um, but just staying true to who we are and just knowing that we can still get to the hoop even with those bumps and bruises. And then since you got here, I mean, your offense has been on display pretty much every night. But I mean, career, career ninth and steals for you. And it was not just you, but everybody doing their part defensively. What went into that you know, defensive mentality and to be so aggressive? Uh, I say this a lot. We are a very competitive team. Like we know how to talk to each other. Um, we just get each other riled up. Um, we were not trying to lose tonight. Um, this game is very personal of just because we lost to them the first time, so it was very personal. Um, and we were playing in front of our family, our home, so we had to protect our house. So this game was very personal. We just had to do our job on defense. You guys have played in so many games that have come down to the wire, especially recently. Is it? Is it? Does that help you? I mean, from a mental aspect of kind of, we've done this before. We can do it again. That's literally what we tell ourselves every time. We've been in this position. No need to get riled up. Just stay composed. Um, just knowing that every team is not going to be a blowout. Every team is going to be having those tight games with us. Um, just knowing who is going to come out in the end game is that's our main focus. We have to be that team that comes out in the end um, and fight to the finish. Seeing Anaya fight through whatever pain she was going through tonight. I mean, how? How much does that inspire you guys to you know, go out and give it your all knowing that she's doing the same? One go down, somebody has to step up. Um, just knowing that we have our teammates, our sisters back. Um, when she went down, that really didn't draw us. Um, like It really didn't scare us. We just knew what to do. Um, La La Laura just had to pick her up, tell her that she has, to, she has a big role to play. Um, but yeah. So you're, you're 30 games in, counting the exhibition games. What is Naya the player like compared to where you were when you first got here? I would say Naya now, she's in another element. Um, she's really focused on just going far with her team, um, just believing in her team and having a team that believes in you. Um, I know how good this team is, and I just really love that I'm a part of that. Um, we can really make it far, and I know Coach Mike tells us a lot. We can beat anybody in this league. We can beat anybody outside of our league. We we showed it. We showcased it a lot. Um, and just, yeah, the confidence coming into the Mountain West has built me a lot. It's very competitive. It has allowed me to uh, showcase my abilities, and I really appreciate that. And that's something I didn't get outside of this conference, especially transferring in. And I really appreciate that I made the right choice to come here. Since you've got here, I mean, you've really embraced the culture, the fans, this building. You only got one left this year. I mean, can, can you believe it's like already wrapping up? Yeah, it went by so fast. Um, but I won't take it for granted. Um, just keep fighting to the finish, keep working on what we need to work on, um, and just know that our main goal is to win conference. Um, and like I said before, we are a good team. Everybody else is a good team. We're just showing that we can beat those teams and stay together. That's our main focus. Uh, so when the score was 60 to 59, you get a big steal and you get fouled, you hit your free throws. Just how do you control like the nerves in that situation? Um, we shoot free throws every every day. Um, I make sure I shoot my 10 free throws every day, even after practice, because I know I get to the line probably the most on the team. So just knowing, just staying ready for those moments. Um, once I got to the free throw line, it was no pressure to me. Just knowing that I shoot these every day. So just lock in and focus on what I can do um, and just knock it down.